Hi, this is Brian Colverubius. In this video, we're going to look at how to customize the theme in your Google Classroom. When you click on the Choose a Theme button, you can look through the gallery of pre-created themes to attach to your Google Classroom. But in this case, we want to create a custom one. To do that, we're going to hop over to our Google Drive and we're going to create a new photo. So click on New, click on More, and then select Google Drawings. To create the correct size, we're going to click on File, then click on Page Setup. From Page Setup, we're going to switch it from Standard 4x3 to Custom. We're going to switch it from Inches over to Pixels. And the dimensions we need for this are 1000 by 250. As of right now, that's the standard size for Google Classroom headers. And here we go, that's our size. It's pretty blank and empty, so we're gonna start by adding a little color to the background. Click on Shapes, and then we're gonna add a rectangle. We're gonna take that rectangle and we're gonna drag it all the way to the top left-hand corner till we get the red lines, and then all the way to the bottom right-hand corner until we get the guidelines there. And now we have some background image for our photo. Now we're going to we're going to change the background to a gradient just to make it a little more interesting. Click on fill, then gradient, and then we can select a color from this palette like that. There's a couple interesting options there. So once you have a gradient that you like, um, this is where you can start adding text information. So we're going to put a text box right in the middle just to say welcome. And here I'm just going to say welcome to my class. Then I'm going to center the text and then make it a lot bigger. Then we're gonna change the font to something a little more interesting. And give it a little more color. How about yellow? There we go. Still a little too small, let's make it a little bigger. So highlight the text, enlarge it, and there we go. Now we're saying hello. Now if you are a Bitmoji person, and if you work in a school, you probably are, this is your time to shine. You can go over to your Bitmojis, find something interesting, right click on the picture, and then click Save Image As. Pretty much save it anywhere. And you can see where it downloaded down in the bottom. You can click that and drag it right into your picture and put it anywhere you want. Do a little more adjusting and here you go. Now you have your own custom Google Classroom theme photo. Click on File, Download, and we're gonna download this as a PNG. Just save it anywhere. Then we're going to hop back over to our Google Classroom. Here we're going to upload a photo. Because we have this thing downloaded in Chrome, we can drag it from our downloaded folder to Google Classroom directly. Now you see we have to resize the image slightly. So these lines around the image show how we're going to crop it. But because we have the correct size, we can just skip the cropping and save it to your Google Classroom. You see that the file uh, is a little bit darker, is shown a little bit darker, has kind of like a um, uh, kind of overlay to it. That's because in order to be ADA compliant, to allow people with certain disabilities to be able to view this properly, we have to make sure that it is um, maintaining contrast standards, which is why we get that overlay that kind of darkens your image. So we're not able to remove that. That's something that's there on purpose. One thing I want to note is that the file that we uploaded is very similar to what you have in a Facebook cover art. So if you do a Google search for Facebook cover art, you're probably going to be able to find something pretty interesting and fun. You can find any cover art on the internet that would work for a Facebook cover art, and then you're able to upload that as well. So if you want to get something more interesting or something perhaps that's themed with a holiday, Thanksgiving time, for example, you can find something on the internet that matches that. And um, as long as it's a Facebook cover art, you're going to lose either the top or the bottom of the image a little bit, but it gives you a huge library of uh, cover art photos that you can use in your classroom. So one thing I want to show is you are able to add a little bit more information to your Google Classroom um, cover art. The section field in your class details it can double as adding just additional information. So in this case, I'm going to show you how to add, for example, office hours to your Google Classroom because students can know when and where to find you. So to do that, we're going to click on the gear icon in the upper right hand corner. Then we're going to populate the section field with a piece of relevant information. In this case, we're going to put our office hours as Monday, Wednesday and Friday and then click Save. 
And what we find is that section is displayed under the title of your classroom. So it gives you just a little added bit of information you can include for your students. And that's what you need to know in order to create your own custom theme. If you have any questions, go ahead and put it in the comments. Let me know if I can help.